So let's move on to healing. There's some very important healing phases. And we've talked about this in other talks in a lot of detail. But let me just quickly go through some of the phases. So the first phase and the first tool is I need tools to help regulate my brain stem and limbic brain when they're dysregulated. In that crisis moment when they're triggered. And so we call that grounding. And so that's where people can use rhythm. They can do breathing, rhythmic breathing. They can walk. They can listen to music. They can tap on pressure points, which is called EFT. Some people count. Some people draw, color, rhythm. They can find rhythms that help regulate them. So what I want you to understand is the starting point for dealing with emotional regulation is not tools for the cortex because it's not yet engaged. It's tools to ground, to de-escalate the limbic system. And rhythm is a big part of that. Then once regulated, you can go to the cortex. And as you go to the cortex, then you can tell time again and you go, you know what? What just happened felt like 40 years ago, but I'm not there 40 years ago, even though it feels like it's still happening to me. And so then you can go, okay, what happened here? And you can reprocess the event and reprocess the trauma and learn from it. And healing will happen as you do that. Then the third is... You don't want to just be living with grounding tools for when you're triggered. What you want to do is start healing your stress system so that it isn't triggered as much. So that it gets to a healthier place that can better handle stress and triggering events. And so what are tools to help develop an increasingly healthy stress response system? Yoga for many people does that. Running, pet therapy, art therapy, all are helpful. But more than that, you have to begin to learn to meet your 12 needs consistently. And you have to begin connecting with safe people. Again, the three ingredients now have to become part of your life, not just when you're in a crisis. Then the fourth thing is you have to go back and heal those wounds. And those wounds won't heal unless you talk about them, face them, get honest about them. Bring them to your conscious level. As long as you avoid, as long as you try to stuff them down, deny them, say it doesn't bother me, those wounds are going to keep bleeding into your life today. And then finally, develop a mindfulness. And there's a couple things we mean by that. First of all, develop an inventory time a couple times a day where you go, how am I doing stress-wise? Where's my head at? What's my mental health? What are the main emotions I'm feeling right now? So you keep track of if the stress is building, if your headspace is still good. So develop those inventories. And then, if you go, my headspace isn't good, what do I need to do about it? If my stress is building, what do I need to do about it? And then you go to curiosity. So when you find yourself triggered, you go, what was that about? So instead of getting down on yourself that you were triggered, and you went back to some maybe some old behaviors, you go, okay, what's going on here? Oh, that's connected to that. Now I know what I need to do. So understand this. A trigger today points to an unhealed wound from the past. A trigger is actually a sign on the road with an arrow that says you need to go here and do some work and some healing. And so develop that curiosity about yourself, about what's happening. What's this trigger all about? and you can learn and grow from it. Let me end by just saying this. Dr. Bruce Perry went to New Zealand and met with the Maori indigenous people. 
And they wanted him as a consultant to talk about healing methods for trauma and, and just healing in general. After he spent a week with them, they, they talked to him and what they said to him was so impactful for him and it validates and reinforces so much of what I teach. But what they said to him was this, you guys in the West, you have developed two things so well. You can diagnose illnesses, you can diagnose mental health problems, you've got it all categorized depression, anxiety, ADHD, ODD, heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer. And then you've got the medications for all of that stuff. You guys have done great in that and we are so appreciative. But we think you are missing the key foundational ingredient for healing. It's not correct diagnosis and medication, though those are important. The foundational thing that is necessary for healing is connection. And you in the West are a nation that is not connected very well. Connection is not your strong point. So even though you have all these other things but don't have connection, you're missing the key ingredient. And I thought, wow, that is so beautiful so true we have to start with connection to safe healthy people and we talk about that all the time